full of questions about what is some new people have popped in asking, what is CosmoQuest? I've never heard of this before. So welcome and hello. CosmoQuest is a virtual research facility where you can come and do citizen science. You can uh, do various mapping projects on um, the surface of the moon and asteroid Vesta and the planet Mercury. Uh, we have offer online classes, we have forums, we do hangouts like this, usually only an hour long, not full 32 hours in a row. Um, but we have all kinds of ways to learn and do science at CosmoQuest. And what we're doing right now with this Hangout-a-thon is we are raising funding to uh, fund the, you know, you know the feed our programmers and fund our staff and keep the project going for the next six months. Uh, that is our goal with the $200,000 goal. Uh, I've been seeing in the comments that we just passed 6,000 after yeah. Phil's 6, segment. 6,100. Woo, 6,100. Um, so you guys, a uh, couple people have offered uh, us uh, their slushy money for the week. So that is... <laughs> Fantastic, thank you. Your Slurpee and slushy money. Um, and so that's what this Hangout-a-thon is for, is keeping the project going despite the complete restructuring of the way uh, things are being funded here and science education is being funded here in the US. And and one neat thing that I, I don't think we've explained at all is you and I are both sitting here being cyborgs at the moment. And, and you've probably seen both of us at various points tap the side of our Google Glass to check various information that's coming in on our heads up display. We both personally purchased these. I wrote an article for Sky and Telescope to pay for mine. Tim and I are going to eat a lot of ramen over the next few months. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm going to do more blogging for Discovery, I promise, Ian. <laughs> and, and so we both got these using our personal funds so that we could use them for science education. Um, we're going to use them to record a whole variety of different demo videos where we can record videos and give the actual hands-on context. Um, we can do all sorts of, um, we're missing someone, uh, we can do all sorts of um, explanations of how to do things, um, sorry, we're now we're going to try and find the two humans. Um, yeah, so while we're sending invites to Scott Maxwell, to Kimberly, last name I can't pronounce yet, and uh, Emily Lakdawalla. Tim, if you're watching, if you can push those out as well, that would be helpful uh, as for our next segment. I'm going to switch us over to a video that we got from Bill Nye. Oh, hey. Um, wow, this is a slow hard drive. There we go. It's still about 90 degrees in here. So yeah. that's help. That's not helping our brains any. <laughs> yeah. But I'm looking at this really pretty Yagi that I want to build now too. Can I build that too? Yes. Okay. You can build anything you want. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's what I need as a Kickstarter. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is this is awkward. Looking at us. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me see. Mm. So I just posted in the event page the link that Greg sent with the uh, what do you need to uh, build your own sky scan. So again, that's s k y s c a n dot c a. That'll tell you how to build your own um, Yagi-type antenna for detecting meteors, which I think uh, our meteorite hunter folks have uh, excitedly tweeted that they want to try it out because it's awesome. Um, and they also nominated Phil Plate for president at some point. I forgot to uh, point that out. So. Okay, so can we switch to the big... Yeah, yeah let's do it. So this is a special message that we got from Bill Nye. Hey, hey, Bill Nye the Science Guy here. I want to thank CosmoQuest for allowing me to join this noble and very important effort. The Planetary Society shares your excitement for citizen science and for public outreach. We've been involving people in space exploration ever since Carl Sagan and our other founders created this society back in 1980. I've been a member ever since, since the disco era. And now I have the honor of running the place. I'm the CEO. I like to say that we do three things. We create, we educate, and we advocate. We create projects that scan the skies for dangerous asteroids. We fund the search for Earth-like planets, and we search for life elsewhere in the universe. We educate with our great magazine, The Planetary Report, with our radio show, Planetary Radio, and with events like Planet Fest last summer. And then we advocate in Washington, D.C. and around the world. We advocate for exploration and space science. But wait, there's more! Our LightSail 1 solar sail will soon rocket into orbit. You can learn about LightSail and everything else that we do on our terrific website, planetary.org. 
I hope it's your homepage. Now consider joining us. Our members have made us the largest and most influential voice in the space interest community. So go CosmoQuest! Together and with the support of the people watching this Hangout-a-thon, we can, dare I say it, change the worlds. Thank you. So the Planetary Society is one of CosmoQuest partners. We uh, work with them to produce uh, space hangouts. Uh, Emily is one of our uh, great friends coming in periodically in the weekly space hangout. And we're looking to design um, future libraries that people can go to to learn how to download space imagery, how to reduce data. Um, we're not quite...